What's good, y'all? This is Too Real Sports, where we keep it way too real. Unapologetic, unbiased, uncensored. Uh, so we at the midway point of the NFL, a little past the midway point, going into Week Ten. So we gonna break down some uh some awards, some mid season mm-hmm. awards, right? We as in Big Ev. Oh yes, <laughs> my bad. I'm always bad with the names and all That's that. So I good. just automatically assume I'm Mitri. Big Ev. And uh, we gonna talk about some NFL awards. You know, I just we want to get right to the sports, right man. To the you stuff. know, get right you to know it, what I'm man. saying? Right to the stuff. Then we gonna uh, talk about the NBA a little bit. We gonna get into a little comparison. Only uh, right. You know, you big the big um, 1,072 games been passed for LeBron. You know, that's how that was the end of for Mike. That, that um he played 1,072 games, so we're gonna see where they was at. Mm-hmm. And a good old conversation was better between Mike and LeBron. I don't even know why it's a conversation at this <laughs> point, but we know we gonna we gonna get there though. We gonna get there. And uh, little sports politics. As we talk about these mid season awards, I've always had a problem with uh, personally with the structure of awards and how they're given out. Um, so we're gonna discuss that a little bit more. So start out, let's go with these midseason awards in the NFL. Let's uh, get right to MVP. So I know you got one, but before I, you go to your one, I just want to, I got an honorable mention before yeah. I get to my one. So I got an honorable mention, cornerbacks. Secondary's cornerback play in the NFL, to me, by my eye, has been the best I might have ever seen it, especially young cornerbacks. Uh, a couple guys I want to just give some shout outs to. Uh, Tredavion White um, and Hyde of the Bills. They got a great duo yeah. over there. Uh, um, my bad. Marshawn Lattimore, rookie, playing probably, I think, one of the best rookies right now with the Saints. Mm-hmm. Uh, Tresmon King of the Chargers. The Browns got two. Uh, you know, and the same usual suspects, Pat Peterson, Sherman, uh, Jimmy Smith. And what I think is the best uh, duo over there, that the Jags have with Jalen Ramsey and AJ. So cornerback play right now, I just want to give that. I don't think I've ever seen a cornerback get MVP, so it's, it's very hard to just give one, but I definitely wanted to give him a big shout out, a big salute. I don't know if you want to say anything about that. Yeah, no, nah, no, nah, that's that's one thing about you. Like ever since like I could at least as far as I can remember you, you always like talk about cute um the cornerback, so but you right though, Lattimore from the Saints looking real good. Ball and, and and the dude from the Bills, um that's what I like like remember the most. Keep it a buck. I'm not on it like as much as the quarterback yeah. as you are, but I know about Lattimore and White. I mean, yo, of course we know about the duo in Jacksonville. How they doing it? And so I know with the fights, the two you know, there's a couple fights. Uh <laughs> with AJ uh Green and Jalen Ramsey and Jameis Winston and Lattimore. <laughs> And that's just frustration because these 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 cornerbacks yeah, are playing frustration, ball. You know, you, they playing ball right now. AJ definitely not choking him out with the Greg Valentine. <laughs> I, I ain't never seen that. One, one catch for six yards and all that. He so. hit him with the big brother sleeper hole <laughs> real quick. But uh, who you like MVP? Who you got? Well, I had I had two I had top two, but I, I switched it though. I switched that. I had Brady as the MVP because Brady, Brady he, he's he's doing it all over again. Mm-hmm. Different casts, different injuries, and, and like he's just doing it all over again, and, he, and he's forty years old, and he and he's getting beat on though. So it's not like he's getting protected. Well, it's gotten better with him a couple of past weeks, but he saw North Ruff. He was getting he was getting destroyed. You you would have thought Brady wasn't gonna make it past the year, but he's still still putting up the numbers, leading the league in um, um yards, um percentage, and he, he's um throwing the most balls. But uh, my MVP is Carson Wentz, though, man. Carson Wentz. <laughs> Carson Wentz, man, I told you week two he's back in the deck, man. And then nine weeks later, eight and one, he's sitting here at the top of the league. And um, what he's leading the league, and he got he's fourth in the yards, first in TDs, and fourth in QBR. And his record speaks for itself. He's eight and one, best team, the Eagles' best team in football right now. And, and it's not like he's doing it with with, with Terrell Owens and, and people like that. And he's not in Philly no more. He's doing it with. <laughs> See that's funny. It Nelson Aguilar and well Alshon Jeffrey, but he. Yeah. It's funny. I, I actually didn't think you was going Carson Wentz. I, I thought you was going Brady. So it actually goes uh, perfect. So now uh, my first instinct, of course, was Tom Brady, but then I realized it's not me. It's cliche. I, I think one of the problems, and we'll get into this as we keep going about the MVP, is you know when you have a Bill Belichick. When you have an offensive coordinator like they have over there for this uh, a number of years, 
and you have that system, it's the perfect marriage. You know, it's just a great marriage. So not to take away from Tom Brady, he's playing at a elite level, probably maybe some of the best, if not the best of his career. Because he's airing it out now. His at whole career 40. wasn't this. So at, at age, age 40, 40 that's I can't take man. nothing away from that. But I'm one of those people who believe so much in Bill Belichick and that system over there that I, I just think a lot of those things could be done. I don't want to get that far. I just think it's a perfect marriage. My MVP, Dak Prescott. I, I smelled it. I smelled it. I knew the criteria was changing. You like, you think about the MVPs, you was, and I just smelled the Cowboys Dak and Dak Prescott. Dak, I just knew it. Now, a problem, one of my problems with MVPs, and we'll get into it, like I said, even more, is wins. Every, for some reason, people always put the MVP as the first place team. You have to be the first place team. So uh, that's why Tom Brady, of course, yeah. is the obvious for a lot of people, and the Carson Wentz. Dak Prescott is one loss in back of Tom Brady. So that's not a big deal. It's not like they're not winning at the same level. Dak Prescott, to me, right now, is playing at a level I've definitely never seen from a second-year player. He's uh, leading the NFL in total touchdowns with passes and rushing touchdowns. When you watch Carson Wentz play, my knock on Carson Wentz is when you watch him play, it's great coaching. Those players are wide open. And it's, it's, it's not the same difficulty as a Dak. Unfortunately, the Cowboys, one of my knocks on them is they have a vanilla offense. It's a very old school offense. So, so you really knocking, you really knocking them for executing the play and, and being wide open. Like, like, that's what you do every time with the Cowboys. I'm not you, knocking you, you, you them. Be, you be discredited. But if you look at Wentz's throws, he's, he's throwing bombs to wide open wide receivers. You know, we watch today we, a screen to a running back. So so Dak is out there uh, doing surgery, cutting um, cut up um, DBs and niggas, um, people, sec- people secondary. Dak, when you see Dak out there, it's 10, 12, 13 play drives finished with touchdowns. And you see Dak out there, he's sitting there throwing sideways, throwing three yards and four yards. Dak, Dak, Dak Prescott, yeah. why, why is Dak Prescott the only top five QB in, in, in completions percentage and top five in, uh, t- touchdowns and QBR, but he's nowhere near the top five in yards? Why, why, is he, why is he behind Eli Manning? Why is he next to Eli Manning in anything? You want to be uh, well, Eli, MVP candidate. Why well, you, Eli's how behind you feel a lot. Eli? Eli's behind a lot, so they got to throw the ball a lot because they're, <laughs> they're usually behind a lot. The Cowboys, the way the offense is structured is the Cowboys receive Zeke? the ball. They receive the ball every time. If you ever watch the Cowboys win a flip, they receive the ball. They want to get ahead. You get ahead, then you run the ball, and you slow the clock. So, of course, we know it's a run-heavy offense because we love to play ahead. And so it makes sense why some quarterbacks will have more yards. Who has more touchdowns? Dak Prescott has now, unfortunately, with Deshaun Watson being hurt, uh, if we take that away, Dak Prescott will have the highest QBR in the NFL. Now, as far as passer rating, he's eighth. But I like QBR way more than I like passer rating because passer rating just looks at numbers. QBR looks at scenarios. So he's first in QBR, first in total touchdowns. That sounds like an MVP to me. I just know when Zeke is running – what was the Saturday today? When Zeke is um running 4.5 yards, 4. yards of carry, they undefeated. When he's under that – but well, now they, we know they, they Zeke is suspended. Yeah, now, now, now it's game that. time. Now, 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 now it's game we'll time. See, now give so, you that. Now, and now is is that if that keep up what he's doing? Is every single thing is exactly what he's doing? And the Cowboys keep on winning. Mm-hmm. You can't just be sitting here doing all this stuff and be the best, all that, and, and doing this and keep on losing and be and, and being um, mediocre at five hundred. They keep on winning. Maybe Dak can get in the conversation because honestly, be, of course. We, we, we don't give a fuck about nobody else's opinion about what, what these other outlets do, but Dak is the only person. Dak is the um only person I see. You're, you're, you're on your list is the only MVP candidate. Nobody else MVP candidate has has Dak has Dak in they, on, on their list. You're the only one. You I'm, can kind of gotta stop ahead. doing this with this I'll Cowboys shit. No problem. Dak is not getting MVP. Right, Dak is check, not getting. He's not. He's not in it. Let's see after he's these it. unfortunate six games. Like, and, they gotta win, man. And we'll see. Now, uh, coach of the year. Coach of the year. I, I'm going with Sean McVay, man. I'm going with Sean McVay. Um, the Rams is um, but they six and two. They mm-hmm. first. 
I don't I don't think they're gonna win the division. I think the um I don't think the Seahawks is done with that division yet. But what they doing right now and and how how golf is looking, how, how the offense is looking. I think um they lead the um league in offense if I'm not mistaken. Mm-hmm. I, I might be wrong, but they've scored already more points this year in their first nine games than they did all year last year. <laughs> so yeah, they halfway point. Girl, you looking back to being girly. Aaron Donald came back looking like a transformer out there on that D line, and. Yeah, they they success, all, yeah. And, Talk know, about cornerbacks. They got a couple over there too. But that yeah, but that that pressure from that D lines was, was, was yeah, yeah, doing yeah. it though. Now, but Vay, what is he? Thirty two, and he, he's doing a couple of new things, innovative things in the NFL, and and the success and the team is showing it. So so far at the halfway point. He, but honestly, if if the Jets were not under five hundred, I had to go with Todd Bowles because the, the, that piece of shit roster, what, what he's doing out there, the Jets is so well coached. They are not talented at all. They, they, I, they no way the Jets should even be in the position they are now, yo. See, but now, Todd Bowles is coaching them. But if they went under five hundred, I, I, I'd go with Todd Bowles, man. Now it's funny you say that. Uh, I just get right to it. I got Todd Bowles. Now I was first battling Sean McVay and uh, Doug Peterson of the Eagles. Um, I had I was leaning more towards Doug. I think what Sean McVay is doing is is you know. Great over there. This is what I think a lot of teams need to do with these coaches, get these younger, mm-hmm. innovative, forward-thinking mm-hmm. coaches with these offenses. These goats out of here. Get the Jeff Fishers, yeah. get the Jeff Fishers of the world the fuck out of here. The more goats go. of the world the fuck out of here. Gotta man. go. So, but there's a whole lot of talent over there. I mean, that's not his fault. Yeah, he's doing what he's supposed yeah, to do. They feel but there's with, a um, whole high draft picks. They want shit for years. They've been getting draft picks for years. It, it, you right. Yeah, so there's a whole lot of talent there. So not to take nothing away from him. Now with Doug and him and what I think about uh, golf and Wentz, for me with the eye test, and I think it's all their coaches, they get a lot of wide open, deep passes because of the way they do their cross routes and fake slants and then one shoots though, out man. and you things ex- like that. You still got to execute so, it. You got to execute it. But for and you, me, and then, like you said, they got the talent. You still got yeah, to win no, the games. Yeah, no, you definitely still got to execute. Got to win it, and it's not easy. Yeah. The NFL not easy to win. Yeah, it. They yeah, win I'm the not games. saying they bums, but you know, it definitely makes it a lot easier when you got a streak and wide open wide receiver. So I'm not saying they bums. They doing what they supposed to do. But now to go to Ty Balls and why I have him, and for me again, this goes out of this mode of the best record is the best coach. Going into this season, we thought the Jets. We meaning anybody who watch football, and, and minus maybe some Jet fans. I don't know. Everyone thought this was a zero tank, to tank one, is. straight two, tank. maybe win season for them. You know what I'm saying? They thought they was gonna get one of these, and they still might get one of these big time three quarterbacks coming out. And nah, they've been winning games. Sure have. And they've been win- and they've been good game. in games on the road. Mm-hmm. People are not getting blown out in in. They was they they almost beat the Patriots at um at home. At mostly all their games have been close games, and they're four and five. But that four and five with that roster of Josh McCown is this going? Who's playing good? Who's playing good? Jermaine Curson. No real uh, running back, you know, as far as going back and forth for Forte and Powell. No real running back, and you say yeah, Jermaine Curson. No real receivers yeah. over there. So for four and five and what he's doing, especially for a year that everyone thought was a tank year. I, I gotta give him coach of the year right now. I have to. And I don't like that at all, but, but I just I just can't give a team that's below five hundred uh, like a coach that's coach of the year. No, I even get though it. he's still doing unbelievable things and unexpected things with, with that piece of shit he roster he got. Yeah, no, I definitely get it. So uh defensive player of the year. Defensive player of the year. Uh, this it's, it's kinda simple for me. Mm-hmm. The best defensive player on the best defensive team. Who's tearing shit up? Who's making like everything go for the team? Right. It's Calais Campbell, right. leading the league in um, sacks, leading the league in quarterback hits, rushing the rushing the um, quarterback, always getting pressure on the quarterback along him. The rest of the um, Jaguars D line makes it easier for the DBs, mm-hmm. Jalen Ramsey and company to um, make their coverages. Yeah, if you rush, if you if you if the quarterback is in there getting pressure, they're rushing the ball all the time. They, they have the receivers have no time to run their routes. And as talented they are, they 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 own them, they own these receivers, and it starts with the pressure in D line. Best player on that D line, Clay Campbell, leading the league in sacks, quarterback hits, doing it all up. Make, he's the motor. He he he's the reason why they're going. So it's pretty simple for me this fall. 
So, you know, me being unbiased. <laughs> uh, <laughs> at first, I had Demarcus Lawrence. Uh, second in sacks uh, with 10.5. I think one behind. Um, I'm not sure if the Jags had their bye week or not yet. Bye week yet. So, but uh, yeah, one behind him. He actually just broke his uh, seven games in a row sack streak last game, but still was ranked by Pro Football Focus the third uh, highest uh, edge rusher of the week. So he's just uh, three fumbles, caused, you know, three forced fumbles. He's out there just causing havoc literally on every single solitary play every play i see he's causing havoc but i gotta you know i that's i don't like getting caught up in whoever leads so for me defensive player right now sean lee oh my god sean lee defensive player of the year yo i, I honestly I, I didn't expect this at all i, I thought you was gonna I, didn't, I don't know which way he was going you said d like, like, sean lee sean lee, sean lee. The oh Cowboys gosh, have lost this makes no the sense. games that Sean Lee this has way. not played. So the way I look at it is, what player out of all the defenses in the NFL, if he does not play, if for some reason you take him out that equation for a game, suffers the most? The Panthers. They win without Luke. No, the hell they don't win they without don't, They don't, they don't win, win as much, but they're they going to win without Luke. Without they didn't Luke. have Luke. You know, a couple times through the concussions. Uh, yeah. this, and, and it's not got, like a, and they a, a new lost. thing. They're getting smoked. They defense look nowhere near but like how the, many the years defense. has Lucas had concussion problems for years now? And they, I, they I wish I had. I wish I, I wish I knew you was going down the field with Sean Lee. I would have had the Panthers record without Luke. Without Luke, man. They probably lose games. There, there's no wins with Sean Lee. Sean Lee doesn't play. The, the Cowboys don't win. Same goes for the Panthers. They defense. no, they win. Sean Lee. Uh, Luke has been they, out. They they pulled up. Yo, the Cowboys are getting scored on regardless. The Panthers again getting scored on if Luke Kelly's not there. If he's there, they 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 not getting scored on like that. Luke has they, had defense concussion is totally problems different. for maybe the last five years, unfortunately. How how can you be a defensive player of the year and your defense not even like top ten? They not top in like any categories. I don't but know like that. maybe maybe the the, the they D lineman because the D law. Oh he's yeah, doing, that, oh yeah, that. The, maybe they like they and don't forget about David Irvin. But you know, I, I don't it, it, it makes zero sense. To me, sense. I yeah, can't think crazy. of a I can't think sense, of man. a player. If you take that player out the equation of a defense, Luke Keekley is one of those tight players. But they've shown they can do it. He's been out consecutively with concussion problems for a couple years now, so they've shown they can do it. You take Sean Lee out the game, the Cowboys lose. That's just simple. So to me, I couldn't think of any other defensive player. There's some great defensive, Calais Campbell, but that line is stacked. So if he don't play, they still gonna get a whole bunch of sacks over there. Uh, I, I, they, they'll I get they say. I don't know if it's a whole bunch. They they'll still get they sacks, but would that um would they um secondary look the same? Cause they they, they it's not that like they whole secondary. You pointed out to me the other day. I I, th- I was thinking they secondary was 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 drafted and didn't kind of find out after you told me. I did a little research. They, they these secondaries been in the league. Barry yeah. Church been doing the Cowboys. You know how about the yeah, Cowboys I, secondary have like, went like, shit like for the past Church. decade. He's coming from over there, night over there. All of a sudden, he, he gets to the Jaguars, and he's out here looking like a shutdown. They looking for a nickname for their for defense now? It's a lot of people on that D-line. Nah, that yeah. D-line is crowded. Nah, it, it is it is crowded, and the, best player is crowded. On, and, and the best player on that D-line is Calais Campbell. But they can win games they, without him being there. They can win games without him being there. They're not winning no games without Sean Lee. Yeah, so to me, but, 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 play, but, right, but yeah. when he's in the game, they they it, it may like it equates they like they have the result. They get they get the numbers is there. Sean Lee in the game, the Cowboys don't have the numbers the best defense in the league. They nothing like they changes. Win. Like it's, just, it's a win. <laughs> you seen what he did to Hunt? With with that was a clear textbook game of how important Sean Lee is. Hunt had. Nine yards oh, on eight carries in the first half. Way before that, Hunt, Hunt's been playing. Thinking that he lead the NFL in rushing. He, he, and I, on the yard, um, yard of scrimmage. I don't think he leads in rushing anymore because he he's been playing bad last. Like he didn't no, have he still like lead three, lead three. In I just seen it the other day. He probably does though. Yeah, because he got up the crazy start. But the last three games, he's been looking like a rookie, like hit the, like a little rookie wool. But I think he's gonna bounce back. But not to get into him though, but. Sean Lee, yeah, that's you know, that's crazy, man. That's real so anybody who challenges, I just ask you, and we love the feedback. Right on uh, the Facebook, the YouTube page, give me a defensive player on any team mm-hmm. that you take <laughs> off, and that defense 
still does yeah. not win or be successful. <laughs> Last time you went to the YouTube depression, you, you, didn't, you, you didn't want to hit the results, man. You, I you did want to hit the results. Nah. Shout out to uh, uh, the guy who was uh, Dolphins fan. I'm sorry, I don't remember your name. My I man, Tom you. Lee. Definitely I mean, appreciate it's a bonus. The, yeah, appreciate the uh, view, and you definitely paying attention. That's love. Um, but yeah, I seen him say Eli's the first ballot Hall of Fame, and we're not gonna get too crazy. But I just want to ask you this question: If Eli's the first ballot Hall of Famer, let's say he makes it to the Hall of Fame, he right? is. Like, if he's our he's first ballot Hall of Famer, let's see: Ben Roethlisberger, possibly Peyton Manning, Tom Brady, uh, possibly Philip Rivers, Aaron Rodgers. That's that's all gonna kind of be in the same class. What first ballot he gonna be in? I don't know what second ballot he gonna be in. I don't, I don't, I don't care about this part of the. I don't care about this part. So, so I know yeah. he's going to be in there. He should be all a first battle with all the accolades okay. on top of the accomplishments, accomplishments he's made in the league. But if he's not a first battle Hall of Famer, so what? He's in there. Uh, he's he's a shoeing. He's it's stamped. It's like jink, beep. It's like it's, it's stamped, cemented. Yeah, Manning last name pulls a lot of weight. So who uh who you got for your rookie? Halfway point. Since we doing halfway point, is well, it? I, I, I'm a, my fault to cut you off. I'm gonna go first because I I don't have a soul one. I'm just gonna go again the secondary play of the, some of these rookies. You know, Lattimore, um, uh, the Bills. Uh, they got one. They, they, these these rookies are just playing some ball. So that's what I like from the rookies I'm seeing at the corners. Um, so I don't have one. So you you. Nah, since it's halfway point, it's hands down. It's just like it's no, it's not even a thought. It's hands down to Sean Watson. Sean Watson was really tearing this league up. On some, not to quote Johnny Manziel, but he was tearing this shit up. Nothing. He was. He was. He was yo. But he was doing in, in the NFL in, in yeah. a short time, it, it, like on some real shit, never been seen before. Yeah. I never seen him before since I I've been watching. <laughs> it's not, don't no no. Never been seen before. Dak, this is not Dak. Dak wasn't doing what he was doing as far as touchdown wise and, 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 and yards and, and everything like that. Dak was there yeah, touchdown wise. He Deshaun, I don't want to do this. Yeah, I yeah, Deshaun, I don't, yeah. This but about, Deshaun did throw interceptions way more than he. Dak. Way, way, way more. No, nah, way more. So, definitely, he way more mistakes. So let's we gotta, you know, what Dak did was special. Yeah, what but, Deshaun did was. Great, and I wish him the yeah, best. Deshaun, I, I but Deshaun, do, do the whole, come on, offense. It's on me. Ha. Come on, ride, ride, ride this way. I, I got y'all. I got yeah. y'all. DeAndre, I'm going to rewind the league. Why are you top five NFL um, wide receiver? Will Fuller, you, you, back, from, you, back, you back from injury? Ha. Hold those. Hold yeah, those. Deshaun, is bah, 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 bah. Deshaun definitely prays to him. He's going to be good. Uh, he, he got yeah, he gonna one be of good. those uh, strong. Ain't no RG3 shit here with this injury. He, yeah, he's he, built tough yeah, mentally. He's so. he right back with it, man. But uh-huh. unfortunately, everybody's going to suffer, especially me, because I got my man DeAndre Hopkins on my fucking fantasy team. Like, yeah. He still had me held down for me last week, though. But Tom Savage, man. Yes, yeah, Tom Savage. All right, so NBA. 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 Uh, just to go around, highlight what's going on, what you've been seeing, what you've been thinking. Uh, I've been seeing, uh, I've been seeing Ben Simmons out here looking like an all star in, in the East, man. Yeah, Ben, ben Simmons, ben Simmons is, out uh, here doing it, moonwalking yeah. backwards, blindfolded to that rookie of the year, man. Ben Simmons is. <laughs> <laughs> it's easy. It's, it's, it's almost in the bag, man. Like two more weeks, man. I haven't seen enough, man. Ben Simmons definitely the ringer. You know he is ringing. Hey, man. But uh, he playing ball. Now he definitely playing ball. Um, the um, Celtics out here. Yeah, that's uh, Kyrie shutting a lot of motherfuckers up. A lot of you suckers out there. All that, all the y'all suckers out there with your with your TV's <laughs> opinion. Don't know shit about basketball. Don't know a goddamn thing. Kyrie out there with the best team in the East, and he's out there leading that young squad. Them dudes is young. Tatum, Brown, who, who else? All, all them dudes is young, man. And Kyrie sitting here. Mm-hmm. Come on, ride, ride, ride my way, feel like I got y'all, and, and, and he's doing it. Yeah, I'm ready. That's uh, two players. Three players that I wrote down at uh, Kyrie. Uh, very, very impressed with Kyrie. The numbers don't tell the whole story. He's averaging 22 points. That's why you got fuck shit since you watch the goddamn uh, <laughs> game. Watch the yeah. game. 22 points, uh, six assists. But the biggest stat to me uh, that's that's most impressive is his team is first in defense. Yep. And you know, that's one of the knocks or quote-unquote knocks that Kyrie's got. And if you watch the game... If you watch when he played against yeah. Steph Curry in the NBA finals, finals exactly. you'll see he plays defense. Um, I think that marriage between him and, and Brad Stevenson is just perfect. Perfect, yeah. They're both uh, just 
very intellectual brains. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, Brad still uh, has that college kind of mentality as far as play calling and sets. You know, a lot of players mm -hmm. or a lot of coaches in the NBA just really just give you the ball and just say, go, best player, and do kind of what you want. He still has sets yeah. and things like that. So those two brains together is is scary, yeah. and, and, uh, and they and they work and they, and they believe them because like that that Brad's that's how Brad Stevens had to do it. He mm -hmm. he was in um Butler. You don't get mm -hmm. no talent in Butler. Yeah, uh, how you gonna sit there and survive? Keep your head under the water. Get some. You obviously you had some talent because he did have Shelvin Mack there. Yeah, he had to play the year before Golden yeah, Golden the Hayward got there. Talent. But you got to sit there and play that team basketball and shit that rock and, and swing mm -hmm. that rock. And he brought that philosophy mm -hmm. right to the NBA. Man, and they and they and they believe it and trust in the system. It's been working out in Boston. They, they looking great right now, and I came from it before the year. I was like, I, I, I just can't just. I don't see them being being the um Cavs, but how the Cavs looking right now? Even though it's still early, I honestly don't think they care yeah. about what's going. Like they they care to us, but like they know what it is. they they have this team is built for the playoffs, man. They here for the playoffs, and I don't think they gonna kill themselves or get extra caught up in the hype about how they losing. But it does look bad. How the Cavs are looking, but I think they're gonna be just fine, man. Yeah, it's it's not ringing the alarm, but it does tell me something. Uh, and maybe it is to me, you know, it just be over like this. You know what I'm saying? Just be over like this. So, yes, it is early, but it looked bad. It looked real bad. <laughs> and so, uh, we'll see with the Cavs, but uh, poor Zingas. Oh, my God. I mean, I'll let you start off. You, you, the, you, the, you, the, you, the, you, the, Told you I wore this by mistake. <laughs> you the you the Knicks, so I'll let you. I'll MVKP. Let you, yeah, I'm I'll trying to you. chill. I'm trying to maintain my composure. I've been <laughs> going crazy on Twitter. I've been cursing at nobody. I've been screaming. I've been chilling. I've been watching low key every game. But right, yo, yo, I can't front. Like I, I'm not gonna lie. I may I might have to like backtrack on on on, on how I feel about Melo. Melo is gonna be my dog forever, but. It's just crazy how the the Knicks is less talented team and they, and they and they doing better. Well, I just think that ball the ball's moving and kind of find well, what do you know? The bullshit triangle is going and, and Jeff Hornacek is a, is a decent coach. Yeah, he, he could coach. The Knicks is scrappy. Everybody's playing their role. Um, the best thing he did so far was um put Jack Jack in the lineup, veteran point guard to run the show. He he he's doing he doing real good actually. I'm not saying his number, the numbers ain't gonna jump off the screen of course, but. He he he's running things real good. KP's out there looking like a top five player in the league. My man is here. He's arrived, but you know he still got to get used to the NBA. He's sitting out game because his joints is hurting, his elbow hurting. That's why we lost in the match the other day. But anyway, but Knicks is looking good. Dudes is playing their part. Lance Thomas, Courtney Lee, the the, the Kylo Quins. We, we we looking good, man. But we just need some talent. But hope, but. It's looking like if they keep it up, the Knicks fuck around and make the playoffs. Now we we make the playoffs, we won't get a um a high draft pick and we got to like depend on free agency. I don't know if the um dudes in the NBA looking at the Knicks different because last fucking decade nobody's come to the Knicks. Nobody's coming like so coming to the old one. But hopefully now things look like um people look so I look at um the Knicks different and and, and want to come and trying to KP MVP party. <laughs> <laughs> the card is back, baby. We got it rocking. Man. My man, my man KP man. Nah, just a. Uh backtrack just so people kind of understand my stance when you have a show back then. But I was one of those people who felt like Melo should have went a year ago before when they, and then they re-signed. Nah. I mean, not re-signed, then they signed Derrick Rose and, and Noah. And I was one of those people who felt, and I... I, nah, I, heard, I heard Dolan, like, told Phil that, yo, you, you signed, yo, you gotta, he like, that was only he signed him. Well, yeah, so no, I, I, just I, him. I was gonna say, I think Actually, in the bigger picture, that Phil kind of got a raw deal in the whole Knicks situation. In a way, because Phil knew right away he didn't want Melo. You know, I don't know if y'all remember that year. He wasn't really nah, trying to resign. Yeah, yeah, he was talking shit about him. And so he didn't. And so I was in agreement of that because I thought KP needed his own team to grow, to, to fully blossom. And then they really took a step back with getting Derrick Rose and Noah. And then that was really going to just, you know, make him shy away. And, you know, it took a step back, like we say. And now he's blossoming. He got, he's the sure team is, he got a team to itself, and he's blossoming, uh, averaging 30 points mm -hmm. to six guard on 51%. That's crazy. 38% from the three-point line. That's crazy. You know what I'm saying? And only really on 30, not only, but uh, 33 minutes. Mm -hmm. So that's eight rebounds. So that's, that's, that's. Highly impressive. 
like you said, you know, he, he sat out. If you look at him, you know, physically he's still yeah, not. Still you know, that's gonna that come. Really, he's, it, he's it really is gonna young. come. Yeah, so as that. soon as he fills out physically, it's it's scary. And I think, you know, players will be smart. And yeah, they're gonna definitely, run. especially now. Yeah, they and see he, what's going on. Just personality wise, he doesn't seem like a guy you do not want to play with. You know what I'm saying? That, that has to deal with it a lot. He was passionate about because the other day um, he hit um, the rookie friend. I, 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 I'm learning um, your last name as you get better, but I'm, mm-hmm. used to, I'm starting to like you new too now, Frank. He, he kicked it out. KB had a top of the key, kicked it out to Frank, splashed with the three. I, I, I can't remember if it gave us the lead or, or tied it up for us, but that, that was big in crunch time. So yeah, he'll definitely uh, give it up. Yeah, tied it up. Oh, tied it up. Yeah, yeah, he took the lead with the layup. Oh, yeah, when he did. When he, when yeah. he, with, with the jelly, yeah. the 7 2 jelly. <laughs> Shout out, jelly fam. Yeah. <laughs> But uh, one other play I just want to highlight real quick, uh, DeMarcus Cousins. DeMarcus Cousins low-key is balling. Not, you know, crazy. Yeah, he is. Uh, 29 and 14, two blocks. Um, I don't. I still don't know what they're going to do over there with those two. But DeMarcus Cousins, to me, best center in the game. Um, yeah, and so I just down. want to, yeah, just highlight what, what, what's going on over there. Yeah, they, 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 um, they both put up numbers, you know, and they, they both put him on um, Anthony mm-hmm. Davis, but I, I haven't watched not one game of them, them this shit yet, so I don't know why the hell, like, they, they not equating the wins, because they still below 500, like, I don't know, yeah, it's just, I'm not sure what's really going on. It's just too much, maybe, you know, it's, it's crazy, because you can tell they like to play with each other, yeah, balls, word. And, 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 and they know how to do it, but it's just, it's just... The way the NBA is now, it's just, you know, it's hard to yeah. have, though, you know, two big men because it ain't as half court no more. You know, it's not half court at all. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, see, like, they, they started off slow. Then you thought they hit their little, like, uh, here we go. They get their they, they came to their grooving. Uh, it looked like they hit another wall. It, it's it's going to take some time. That's season. what it it's is. Yeah, games, so. It's going to take some time. And yeah, when, when, when I watch when it click, and when it do click, oh, baby. It's 82 games. Now, uh... You want to talk about uh, MJ LeBron? Uh, a little, yeah, the other day, like I was saying earlier in the beginning, um, the other day LeBron played his um, 1,072nd game, and that's the um, same amount of um, games Mike played for his entire career. Mm-hmm. And just to like talk about the stat side of things, Mike got more points, LeBron has more rebounds, more assists, high field goal percentage, less titles, and all that. But the stats when – like Le- LeBron is six eight. LeBron is the bigger player. Like I'm not. I'm not. I'm not making this excuse. He's he's the bigger player. He's the better athlete. If you ask me too. That that's that's my that's my that's my that's my thing with LeBron. LeBron, if you ask me, LeBron James is the greatest athlete of all time. Period. This dude is six eight. He he's calm alone playing the playing in one. He's six eight six six nine two seventy. He can run as fast as Iverson. He can jump as high as Vince Carter. His athleticism is what gets him by. He's not sitting here breaking dude down off the dribble. He's not sitting here making moves or like fadeaways or step backs. And I mean, he does occasionally, but it's not like he's not doing it like like a as, as a skill as a MJ or a Kobe or or a Larry Bird or or somebody of that of that caliber. He, he's not doing it that way. And you 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 can't be name your top five. Whoever is in your top five in the NBA all time. I'm pretty sure LeBron is in there, and he'll be the only one in the in, the, in your top five with a losing record in, in the NBA Finals. And you want to talk about greatest all time? How the hell are you going to be the greatest all time with a losing record in the NBA Finals? How the hell do you even dare in your mind lose to that Dallas team? There's no way in hell. I, I don't care about what happened after. <laughs> he, he won his rings after, but that 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 shit that's going to haunt him and my decision and my and my my imagery of LeBron forever. See now, me with LeBron, not a, just to be in a certain perspective. LeBron is not one of the players I love, like you know, like a Russell Westbrook. But I've gotten to a appreciation space for LeBron. Uh, you know, with the whole Miami Heat thing, you know, I was one of those. I hate you, LeBron. I hate you. And uh, funny enough, my mother got me out of that just by simply one time saying. Why you hate a bl- another black man so much? And it just snapped me out of it like this. <laughs> Somehow I was just like, and she just said it like nonchalantly, and I was kind of like, damn, because you know I was like, ah, oh, I hate you, you messed the NBA up, and all this other stuff. So now I've gone to an appreciation space with LeBron, where I, you know, Michael Jordan is Michael Jordan. You know what I'm saying? But I've I've I'm, I've tried to fully. I mean, I still I can't lie. I still got a little bit of that LeBron hate in me. It still come out. When I be talking with the fans and stuff, and you know, talking to some of my homies who 
who are fans and everything like that of his. It should come out because he's still passing the ball to Chandler Fogg <laughs> in, in the, um, at the end of the game. But... So take it to the basket for that one. Or, or, but anyway. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and keeping Ooh. it somewhat of a perspective with the comparison to Mike, he has, at that point, won 10 more games and has 28 more triple doubles. Um, so when I say I've, I've grown to appreciate I've grown to appreciate that my, LeBron is just... No, there's there's only one Mike. Mike has more steals, more MVPs. No, definitely. More definitely. rings, more points. He gone. You know, there's only one Mike. <laughs> there's only one Mike, and I've I'm I've got or trying to more or less get into a space with LeBron where I appreciate all his accolades. And the biggest thing that I just want to say with LeBron is, the LeBron is, I mean you know humans are humans, but LeBron is the greatest role model superstar ever. I believe. And that impact is bigger than what Mike may have ever done. Nah, 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 you are nothing in nothing no no athlete impactful what, what Jordan did. Nobody was impactful as a Michael Jordan. Mike Michael Jordan's impact he's is money. The, he's the reason why the brands are why they like why people have brands. But now. I mean as far as LeBron, what he's done with his homies, with as far as, you know, his his friends manage oh, yeah. him. Oh, definitely. And the, the, yeah, you know, right. his friends in the business aspect and being loyal to to the the Mike Millers in his career, where it's like, yeah, you rock with me, I right, come on, I'm gonna get you a contract. Yeah, get paid, okay. Tristan Thompson. Every get, Tristan, Tom, paid Tristan Thompson, that was the biggest robbery ever. <laughs> Tristan Thompson <laughs> is no better than the best person at the YMCA. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry, but when LeBron say, yo, pay him the max, just cause that's my friend. He gets paid the max, and now his family's taken care of forever. You know, Michael Jordan was Michael Jordan. You know oh, what yeah, I'm saying? Oh, yeah, yeah. And then so, LeBron's on top of all the social issues, too. But yeah. Every, but everything right now you're talking about is social off the court. Social issues. If you want to talk so, about off the court, I'm not bringing Michael Jordan up at all. I don't I don't, I don't. don't like Michael Jordan off the court. I don't, I don't, I don't, I'm not a Michael Jordan fan off the court. I'm, I'm a huge LeBron James fan off the court. I love everything LeBron do off the court. But all that is why yeah. I've gotten into a space now where I'm trying to appreciate LeBron and what he does. He's not going he's not going to see 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 not nah, gonna be down know, nah, with I don't, 10 seconds and he's not going to break down the defense and go to the lane. He's just not. It's not going to be him. But he can't, but he I'm, I'm not expecting him to cuz he can't. He's not I don't think he's that skilled of a player. He he can't break no, down no, the defense. No. Nah. We can't. The he, skill. Listen, he, LeBron he is come on. He, skill wise. Can he get to the basket? He, he hell yeah. Do nobody stop nobody stop LeBron from getting to the basket. That's the frustration. He could do whatever he exactly, wants. Exactly. Exactly. He but he can he can break down he can't he can break do down whatever he want he, uh, he, he can, can do whatever he want uh, the why does he do it all the time well know. that's the that's where the frustration lies it's like when he had fifty something the other game and we all like he has LeBron po- he hasn't posted up since but that's where the frustration he, he, he lies he hasn't posted like, up since LeBron, that game that. so go to the basket like, like he can do whatever he, he wants like, the, the dude missed the free he missed the second free throw of the, the, uh, the Hawks game when he was at home mm-hmm. missed the second free throw LeBron got the rebound. Go, go to the basket, lay the ball up, and get fouled. Get the end one. Stop at the on top of the key, little jerky, herky bullshit move. He can't do. He's not. He don't have that. Just kick it out, chin and fry, mystery, lose the game. Yeah, but he he just is who he is. That's, that, that's he just is who he is, and I've just come to a a place where we can appreciate. I can appreciate. Yeah, but that. like you pre, but the, all that stuff is off the court. I, I'm talking about on the court though. But even on the court, he's not going to be the guy that comes down. He's going to be the guy that comes down and give it to Shannon Fry. But he's stop. showing us that time and time again. So if you show me that ten times, why am I going to get mad at you at the eleventh time? You already showed me ten times. But, that's who you so are. So why is this? So why is this like like why is this a, like it's a, it's a non it's an ongoing debate now about Jordan Lebron like Jordan Lebron why. It's so, not even close. It's nah, it the, the ship doesn't it's a sell. Good no, how the hell is not? It's a good Kobe debate. and Jordan's a better debate. Nah, Co- I, it's, it's all a good debate. Uh, it's all a good debate. LeBron, we can't deny what the dominance he's had in the NBA. He's three and five in the finals. There's no I mean, sh- like yeah. how are you three, how are you LeBron James, and you three and five in the finals. All right, but there's another way to look. And damn, I done became the LeBron. Yeah, see, like, and that's but another reason why she like. I, but there's I, another way to look at that. You can look at it like. You three and five in the finals, or you can look at it like you went to the finals eight times. You know what I'm saying? And you so go, and you st- that's thirty seven percent. That's not good. A lot of people would like to go eight times. A lot of people like to go five times. Right. Even if they lose right. four of them joints, they'll like to go. Now it's okay. Now, now, like, no, it wasn't okay for the Bills to go four times lose. They never won. It's not okay. Exactly. Got to win at least. It, it, we it, won it. one for Cleveland. 
His one for Cleveland that, that, is yeah, bigger that, than that, any that, championship that, one, that Kobe hey, ever had. I'm saying it. Yeah. Yeah. And the, Kobe uh, got, I mean, so, yeah. so, you know, sometimes it's bigger than... Still not better than Kobe. Though. I mean, better than Kobe. No, nah, I'm not saying that. Definitely not. But I'm just saying... But it's why, like, I, I can't get more. I can't, like, I see, I'm only coming out to start of the argument because we, we both know MJ's the greatest. So nobody's yeah. here to sit here and, and tell LeBron, LeBron points. And I can't, like, sit there and strategically and sit there while bowing out with the shit you stupid ass down who's sitting there thinking LeBron's the GOAT. So I, I don't want to. It's keep, an argument. It's I don't not, believe it's, it's it, no but way, it ain't like. It's not nah, an nah, argument. It's not, it's, it's not a close. It, it's not close at all. It, it, it's, honestly, it's honestly, to me at this point, it, it's disrespectful. It, it's yeah. bowling more like. It's, it, it, you're LeBron trying to make a lot of bums. Look good. I can't. I don't know about. So, so, so I, not to George. take that away from Michael, but I can't say that with Mike. He has some players. I don't. Scotty you know, Pippen. Like he, he turned. LeBron Scottie, had definitely had some players he, too. He, don't he, get it twisted. He turned Scotty Pippen to a top fifty player all the time. Yeah, Scotty, you know. Scotty but, Pippen ain't no damn top fifty player all the time. I agree. Michael Jordan, man, hands down, it's not even close, man. Six and zero in the finals and. Mm. How he how, how he did it, man, and then and, and you want everybody and LeBron's a two way player. There's no the, Michael Jordan is the ultimate two way player. 1988 MVP defensive player of the year. Mike is the goat. Hasn't been done ever before that. Hasn't been done since. Mike is the goat. Mike, but Mike averaged 40, 48 eight in the finals. That, like man. nobody like everybody wants to talk about all all around. And Jordan was smaller than LeBron. Jordan was six six fucking two. Two what? Two oh eight? Two twelve? Something like that? So we can't. Forty eight eight. We can't appreciate him though. Appreciate who? LeBron. Yeah, I appreciate LeBron, but you got to you got you got to um, appreciate him in, in in his context. You can't keep talking as goat greatest all the time and uh, the shit doesn't sell. Ain't my vote. Be but smooth. It, uh, it, <laughs> it ain't my vote, but I, it, it's an argument. But it ain't my vote. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, real quick, I just want to uh, sports politics. We winding down. I'm gonna go real quick. Uh, just as you see, we just won the awards today, and you all give me a spill with it. MVP system, I just think, I, I just don't understand it. You know, we use the word most valuable player, but really it's the best player on the best team. And to me, that's a little unfair because if you take these players off the team, they'll still have a good team. So just real quick in the two major NFL, NBA sports, right, in the last 10 years, LeBron has four, two with the Cavs, two with the Heat. Uh, KD, Steph has two, Westbrook has one. Let me go NFL real quick. Last 10 years, Brady has two, Peyton has three, Aaron Rodgers has two, Cam has one, Adrian Peterson has one, and Matt Ryan has one. So every year, if you break those down more, every year it's the best player on the best team with the best record. But if you look at these teams, LeBron's with the Heat, Steph Curry, um, even uh, you know some of these NFL teams, like when Brady got hurt, I mean they missed the playoffs, but they had eleven and five record. Um, they could be replaced if Steph Curry doesn't play. That's still a playoff team. They're not winning no championship, but it's still a playoff yeah, team. If LeBron is, is not on them teams, it's still a playoff team. So to me, most valuable player should be if you take this person off the team, are they still gone? So Russell Westbrook got it last year. He broke a record to get that. Adrian Peterson got it. He broke a record to get that. The only way these people are getting these things is by breaking records. But every year, it's the best player on the best team. When really these teams could last without those players. They're not going to win a championship or go to the Super Bowl or the NBA Finals, maybe. But they still going to stay afloat when there's five other players where if you take those players off the team, that team is done. And to me, that is more of a most valuable player than the way these definitions are in the league now. See, I, 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 I'm with you to a certain extent. I'm, I'm like, I'm like, it's about these W's, man. It's about the wins and losses. And and, and if you're the best player, uh, you're the best player of the year in that league, uh, whatever league you win. You, you better, it better, you gotta equate to wins. You, you can't be sitting there. That's a team put, sport. Putting up on these numbers, and, and, and but yeah, but that 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 you that caliber, you the best player in the league. You 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 shouldn't be the fifth seed. You you shouldn't be. Uh, a, a, a wild card. You you should be. You should at least have home field advantage in that, in that first round. That, that 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 type of talent. That 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 the best player in the league should equate to success as, as far as your team goes. And and what well, Westbrook was. They were the fourth seed last year, right? Yeah. Yeah. If, if Westbrook like when it, like if if he went out in the fourth seed and they got that that the first round home court advantage, I think would they would they would have stood on him and and not and not, not gave him the MVP. 
I but, but I am with you though. But, but that's like, how it is. But I, you know. But it's it's not like these dudes who done won MVP not not putting up like these the um these the crazy numbers. When they, they, they still put MVP caliber numbers, and on top of that, they they team is tops in the league. So when you have to have a lot of factors, you know, you gotta have coaching, you gotta have teammates, and you gotta have health. So one person can ball or be an MVP or be a better player, but not have a Steve Kerr, not have a Bill Belichick. So we ain't going to win the same amount of games. I'm not going to win the same amount of games. I don't have a Draymond Green, a Klay Thompson. It's just not going to happen. All right. So like, I, this is, might be a stupid question, but who's the MVP of the league so far? Uh, Porzingis. All right. Some people would say the Greek freak. I say I can, hell no, cause the I Bucks not that. the Bucks not winning. They I not can see winning. that. I can definitely see that. The how, but how? They, I just they, think they're a little more talented, so that's why I got Porzingis ahead. Uh, that Knicks team don't, you know, they're highly overachieving right now. <laughs> Bucks have talent, so I, I definitely agree with that. I, mm-hmm. I'm in that favor. I think that's how we should start doing these awards. No, I feel you, cause like there's no reason why. There's no reason in hell. It's like it's uh-huh. it's still like it's crazy to me. Like Kobe Bryant walking around one MVP. That that that's really that that's some real outlandish shit that Kobe Bryant got one MVP with the uh, things that the numbers he done put because up because the yeah. Suns was in first yeah, place. Yeah, come on, and man. St- like come on, Steve Nash back to better. So yeah. that's just something for you to think about real quick. You know what I'm saying? As we wrap this thing up, I want the whole award thing to be changed. I want MVPs to be changed. I want it to be the demographic of if you take that player off the team, what's gonna happen with that team? And that's why Sean Lee is the defensive player of the year. So you got to uh, <laughs> you gotta pick. You got a uh, house yeah. picker. I need yeah. a little money. Yeah. So I might yeah. Yo, hey, yo, if, if, y'all, if y'all been rocking out with me these last couple of weeks, y'all up right now. I, 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 you know, y'all, y'all up right now. You know, we, came out, we came out the box. We came out the gates a little rock. You know what I'm saying? So what? It happens. It happens to the best of them. Um, Jimmy the Greek ain't been heard of since since he um, predicted the Jets win Super Bowl three. All right, <laughs> everybody had the up and down, but if you've been rocking with me all year, you, you should have some bread though. Um, right now to speak, um, Cowboys is um the underdogs for on the road versus the um, Falcons. If you ask me, the Falcons ain't shit. The Falcons ain't shit, and I can't front. Sean Lee does disrupt running backs. He he and um, Devontae Freeman, and I don't expect him to do too much. Sean Lee gonna be there. Cowboys on the road. Don't don't take the points. Take the Cowboys money line. They underdogs. Bet the Cowboys straight up. They gonna win. Yeah, they not losing to the nah. Man, nah, 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 nah. Don't be scared. Nah, you gotta be scared because the Falcons ain't shit. Nah, the Falcons. I'm not gonna go into death. Julio Jones and Freeman. Yeah, they do got Julio Jones and Freeman, but they ain't shit still. Well, they, they still have Matt Ryan. Beasley, they have Matt Ryan, and they ain't gonna create no turnovers. Dak ain't gonna mess it up, and they 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 still they still gonna run the ball. Zeke ain't gonna be there, but they gonna still have 100 yards though. You know what I'm saying? So. McFadden and um, Morris and your man who nobody else know about. Ross Smith. Yeah, so if you get in the game, I want to see what this Ross Smith is going to do, man. We got to see what this Ross Smith is going to do. I can't wait. But yeah, put your Cowboys money line, man. Straight up. House money of the week, man. Get your bread. Sizzler. Take Again, care of Sizzler. Man, love to everybody. Um, feedback, you know, right? You know, whatever you agree, disagree with, you know what I'm saying? Write it under Tell any me, of the media outlets. Let him know he's out of his damn mind <laughs> talking about Sean Lee, the defensive player of the year in midway. Um, again, appreciate y'all. Like the great Jimmy V said, don't give up. Don't ever give up. Love, Cowboy Nation. We down right now. They trying to they trying to lock my man Zeke up, but we gonna be good. Don't worry about yeah, it. That is bullshit what they doing to Zeke. You know, I ain't Free Zeke, man. Free Zeke. Free Zeke, but fuck him. <laughs>